different race cars. Gee, what a show this is to be watching. On the it's fast track for cars. more than a century. Whirling around at 70 miles an hour. Utah's Bonneville Salt Flats takes center stage in racing's rich that driving pool. and thrilling history. Those race cars of the past have sped right into the present here at the Price Museum of Speed in Salt Lake City. This is what race cars used to look like over 100 years ago. And they are beauties. John Price, real estate developer, entrepreneur, and a former U.S. ambassador in the George W. Bush administration, has brought together this rare collection of vintage race cars. These are all moving art. There, I, I call, each car has a metallic soul of its own. I look at each one as, as a piece of art that's got four wheels under it. Their stories remarkable. They either won or placed in prestigious races such as the Grand Prix, Indy, and Daytona Beach. You can almost feel the flames and the heat coming out. This 1904 all-original chain-driven Pope Toledo ran on the sand at Daytona Beach. Wooden spokes on here, nothing fancy, you know. You just hope it held together. Back then it was wild, crazy, oh, and deadly in a timeless sport where it's all about beating the clock. This is all original. This famous Bugatti won the 1929 Spanish Grand Prix. This one here is the winner of 1931 Indianapolis right here. It's rare to come across these cars, but you're not going to find them anymore. Was, uh, in the midst of all these gems, John's pride and joy is the world-famous Mormon Meteor 3. It came out in 1938, and there it is. I mean, it's got an airplane engine in it. And before you can say a 10-letter word, Ab is underway again. Ab Jenkins and the Mormon Meteor set 49 speed and endurance records on the Bonneville Salt Flats. A dozen of those still stand. Day and night he roars on. How does this man do it? His answer was, I don't drink, I don't smoke and he drank milk. Every time he came for a pit stop, he drank milk. And thanks to John Price, the drivers and their cars of long ago keep racing way beyond their time. So I want the children and future generations to remember all these cars and how they were made.